Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is brought to you by Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. It is three rounds in the Super Middleweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out the dynamic mortgage concept right for two or take out. Tail the tape here for about five. Mr. Jude Ortega making his way to the ring. He is 33 years old. Five feet, seven inches tall. This is a 170 pound bout, making his debut as a boxer. Facing off against Mr. Daniel Diaz, who is the younger by two years, has the height advantage by two inches and holds a record of one and zero. Also lists himself as a boxer. Probably a good thing if you're gonna be in a boxing match. <laughs> Just think the same thing. Probably a good style. <laughs> Fighting out of Larry H. Miller Nissan on the 104th blue corner, Danielle Diaz! Mr. Diaz making his way to the ring of combat. So we talked about the uh, 170 pound and up being the division where that one punch can make a huge difference. That's where we're at here. This 170 pound bout, power starts to become a giant factor in the fights. Yes it does, this is where we can get some really big fireworks. I'm excited for this fight. Both these guys look ready and conditioned and in shape. Good to go. Representative of House of Pain wears the black trunks this evening, facing off against Daniel Diaz. He's a representative of A1 Boxing, and Mr. Diaz wearing the blue trunks tonight. Immediately, we see Ortega getting off with a powerful overhand right. Looks like more than a two inch height advantage there for Mr. Diaz. I was gonna say that as well. Definitely a good reach advantage for Diaz too. I'm surprised that he's not rifling some jabs out. There's one. Big right hand to the body though by Diaz. And a nice little mix up there. And then Ortega charges forward off the ropes. Oh, and a big right hand. Diaz is rocked there. He doesn't quite have his feet underneath him. He's on a little bit of rubber legs there. And Ortega doing a really good job of managing his distance and getting inside, throwing some nice combinations up and down the tree, body to head. And then being out of range after his attack. Yes, I agree. Oh, and another Ooh. big right hand lands for Ortega. And a left right after that, a good hook. Oh, and that body shot hurt Ortega. Diaz goes nicely to the left side. Ah, nice, nice bob and weave and out of the ropes. Good job by Ortega. It's his debut, so that was a nice show that he's been working in the gym. And Diaz has found a target in the body of Ortega. Ooh blistering right hand of the body. And that's gonna open up the right hand up top. You saw when that landed, Ortega dropped his elbow down to protect that spot, which is gonna open up his chin. See if he doesn't work that again, does, or, uh, does Diaz. 10 seconds left, see if we make it into the second. I think that was a trip. And we're gonna go to round number two. Very entertaining first round. 
What are you telling the corner of Ortega? Uh, if I'm in Ortega's or corner, I'm telling him to do the same thing he did that round. Keep trying to get inside. And when he tries to block those body shots, he needs to curve his back over a little bit and keep his hands up by his head. He can't just lower his elbow down because that's going to make him real susceptible to that overhand right. Checking out the Larry H. Miller on 104th replay. There's uh, that first big body shot by Diaz. Yeah, we just heard that one slap over here. That was a hard shot. Not even on the side of the liver in that hurt Ortega's liver. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that's just, really, that's just, it was a good body shot. It was. Nice, nice exchanges by these guys. Each time one of them got hit and hurt a little bit, they really wanted to answer back and show, hey, you didn't hurt me. Judges need to know I'm still, still in this. So if you're in the corner of Diaz, what was your advice? If I'm in the corner of Diaz, I want him to work that body shot a couple of times and then fake that body shot and come over top with an overhand right. If he lands that once or twice, I think Ortega's hands is going to drop just a little bit and make him a little bit susceptible. I am in complete agreement that that would be a wise tactic, sir. Why don't you just take it from here tonight, Brent? <laughs> <laughs> Ortega dealing well with the height disadvantage. Able to seemingly get in and land those shots whenever he decides to close that distance. And Diaz not really making him pay for it with too much regularity. Another big body shot by Diaz, though. Big overhand right lands clean by Diaz. And that's exactly what I was thinking was going to happen. Yes. And he you went right it. back to the body. Body head, body head. That's what I want to keep seeing. Head hunting now is Diaz, but he's finding the target. Good job of getting out of the corner. <laughs> I was just going to say again, Ortega finds his way free from being pinned to the corner, puts Diaz up against the ropes and lands a hard right hand. Ortega's got a good chin on him. He's looking like he's a little bit tired, though. He's taking some deep breaths. Hands are coming down a little bit. He needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught. Diaz doing exactly what you said, mixing his punches up and down the tree. Nice job by the A1 boxing fighter. And Ortega's going to do a, a, a little, be a little bit more careful that he doesn't get this fight stopped. He can't just sit there and absorb those punches. He's got to throw something back. And throw something back, he does. Staggers the footwork of Diaz momentarily, does Ortega. Oh, Big goodness, right, right, hand. right hand was just crushing over the top. And Ortega. Ten-second clacker. Taking a step back, taking a deep breath. Diaz showing no respect right now, just winding <laughs> that right hand up. And Ortega, on the receiving end of some hard shots, was giving him a big old smile. <laughs> that was a banger of a round. Definitely Diaz is around. But props to Ortega for hanging in there. Let's see what he can come out with in this next round. And Ortega, I'm watching him as he's sitting down on his stool. He's looking very weathered. Those body shots have had a profound effect on Mr. Ortega. Uh, one of my coaches from back in Texas used to say that, you know, headshots will knock you out, but every time you get hit in the body, a little piece of your soul floats <laughs> away and it never comes back. <laughs> Which Checking made out the Larry sense. H. Miller Nissan replay and watching the flurry here from Mr. Diaz toward the end of the round starts to unload and wanting to finish the fight because he'd heard the 10 second clacker just going with clubbing hands upstairs pretty much abandoned the body shots right there at the very end of the round and well if you land into the head why not coming out for round number three final round of the fight corner man having a hard time getting the stool out of there we have an mma fight this evening so there's a fifth rope in the ring and it's causing all kinds of problems In the corner of Diaz saying, he's tired, he's tired. And I think that's probably accurate. Ortega on his stool between rounds. Definitely had some recovering to do. But that's one of the things you train for. You train to recover within that minute. And Ortega really Ooh. trying to work the jab this round. Surprised that we haven't seen Diaz work any body shots yet. In the corner of Ortega saying, you can't wait, you got to go. Hard shots, landed by Diaz. Not sure what he's being warned here. The only thing I can see maybe is he was sort of pushing with his forearm. Go to the body. 
See if we can hear the referee. Uh, just wants both guys to keep the punches up, I think. Go to the body. So as you start working those body shots, you can get a little more tired. They uh, yeah, sometimes don't quite find their target as accurately as they had earlier. Yeah, they start to sag down a little bit. Yeah, good little jab fest there by Mr. Diaz for a moment. Yeah, and Diaz doing a good job. He throws those jabs, and then he came over with a left hook. I'd like to see him just turn that over a little bit more. That would be a very powerful punch for him. Again, so see what the referee does point wise here, if it's still a warning or and I heard him say not taking a point, so just get to punch low a couple of times. <laughs> Everybody gets two. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, if it's if it's accidental, incidental, doesn't seem to have a super profound effect. It's referee's discretion, and and uh, taking a point can dramatically change the course of a fight. So, ooh, there's the body shot we heard earlier. Yeah, brutal body shot. You can tell that Ortega's hurt by that a little bit. Just trying to survive at this point. Yes, he is. He's covered up against the ropes. Trying to work some uppercuts, let the referee know he's still in the fight, but Diaz getting off nicely with his punches. Nice clean break by Diaz, pushing off, but not throwing any punches with it, just stepping back. Corner of Ortega told him circle off the ropes, and he did it again. So even though he's taking some hard shots, still here in his corner, still following instructions. That would absorb some big right hands, but Ortega sticking in there tough. Yeah. Ten seconds left in the third round. Oh, and a clubbing right hand over the top. Shuts down Ortega for a moment. Ortega walking away. That was a banger of a fight. I think a wow. solid win for Diaz. Um, some really good body shots. But wow, I am impressed with Ortega's chin. He wore some right hands there in that last round. Undoubtedly. Lots of entertainment for the fans in that one. Both guys, like we talked about it early on in their careers, have some adjustments to make, but I think they both got a lot out of it. Let's check out the Larry H. Miller Nissan replay here. And as the fight wore on, Diaz did a nicer job of managing the distance sort of letting Ortega be in his face in round number one. As the fight wore on, he was farther out of range, using that height and reach advantage, and because of it, he was not taking as many counters. And you see it there, three punches in a row miss for Ortega, and that was just by virtue of distance management by Diaz. Something I was also really impressed with by Diaz is his body shots came from the outside. So they were long, snappy body shots, and then as soon as he had thrown that, he was right back outside. Uh, it's very hard for somebody that's a taller fighter to do. Uh, so impressed with his management. Lots of good sportsmanship shown throughout the evening here. We love it. Our thanks to Saratoga, Saratoga Casino for being one of our sponsors, gaming, dining, and lounges. Get on up there, have yourself a good time for the weekend. Like our ring announcer Cody has the official word. All of a sudden, our opinions are rendered null and void. <laughs> yes, they have been all night. Well, there's that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Garcia and Judge Langmar score 30 27, and Judge Beal scores it 29 28. Declaring your winner. By unanimous decision, El Cubando, Daniel Diaz. Mr. Diaz gets to go home with the victory for A1 Boxing. Get on screen with a couple of our sponsors, and then we'll see Mr. Diaz with Bailey Winners for the post-fight interview. See how he thinks things went. I mean, now it's
with your winner, Daniel Diaz. This was your second fight. You've won them both, 2-0 oh now. How's it feel to get that win? Feels fantastic. A lot of hard work and uh, good help from my team to get me here. Both you and your opponent tonight were loading up, so throwing some pretty big shots. You were doing really well going to the body, which you could kind of see in the later rounds as he got tired. Was that the game plan going in? My game plan was mainly he's a little bit shorter, still jab him out and then go for that body because he was starting to sprawl his arms a little bit, and that was my game plan. Were you surprised by his, by his power at all? He seemed to throw some pretty big punches in there. Yeah, he, he definitely uh, he had long bursts, and they, they were definitely surprised me. He was, he was a good fighter. What's going to be next for you? Hopefully 3-0. 3-0 coming right up. Anybody you want to thank tonight? I'm sorry? Anybody you want to thank tonight? Uh, I want to thank my team, uh, my family, and everyone that came out to support me, all the hard work. Uh, I couldn't have done it without everybody. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you back here soon. Thanks. Great job.